Pacific project at the Port of Stockton is pretty remarkable. It really changes the way the Union Pacific handles infrastructure in the United States. The infrastructure is very, very important to the railroad. I mean, it's, it's the lifeblood of the railroad. In order to improve Union Pacific's railway network, partners from around the globe have come together in an innovative new project to create quarter-mile sections of long rail for distribution throughout the western United States. This rail that's right here on this dock is the longest direct ship-to-rail facility in the western United States. Over a decade in the making, Union Pacific is now realizing its dream of long rail. The journey of the long rail starts in Japan, where Nippon Steel and Sumitomo Metal manufacture railroad track. We have always believed in solving problems for railroad companies and to provide them with great products and services. For decades, Japan's steel manufacturers have been on the forefront of this technology. It's ideal for railroad tracks to have minimum welds. By using longer rails, less welding results in less maintenance and improved safety for railroad companies. Rail tracks 150 meters long are forged at the Nippon Steel and Sumitomo Metal Foundry. Then they are transported to the port of Stockton, where three sections are welded together to create a single long rail, 450 meters long, roughly a quarter mile in length. Previously, it took 18 sections of 25 meter track welded together to create the same 450 meter length of rail. Now, it only takes three sections of 150 meter track you hear of the concept, and it's hard to imagine knowing the physical nature of steel and how it is so rigid. It's quite impressive. One challenge was to build a ship that could transport the rail to the United States. Sumitomo partnered with a shipbuilding company to manufacture the Pacific Spike a 189-meter ship that is named by our partner and customer, Union Pacific. Pacific Spike is a uniquely designed ship that has a um, hold down the middle of the ship that is open 508 feet long. What I would call a normal ship, no hold is 508 feet long. Building this ship made it possible to deliver the longer rails. It's truly a fantastic ship. The 150 meter rail sections are carefully loaded from the dock in Port Iwata onto the Pacific Spike using three synchronized onboard cranes. Before setting out across the Pacific, for the port of Stockton. When we live here in Yawata, we are going to Stockton and it takes 15 days. It is not dangerous, but uh, it depends on the weather that we encounter. After two weeks at sea, the Pacific Spike enters San Francisco Bay. Once it arrives, a specially trained local pilot boards the ship to guide it up the San Joaquin River. Navigating on the San Joaquin River is, is a very unique 
type of piloting. Taking a deep ship through a shallow channel, determining the height of tide, the clearance under the ship, that's our job. Finally, after an eight-hour journey up the river channel, the Pacific Spike arrives at the port of Stockton. The rail sections are then carefully offloaded and taken to a specially constructed welding facility at the port. The Port of Stockton has true on-dock rail. They're able to discharge their cargo onto specialty-made rail cars and within 30 minutes have it transported to their rail welding facility located on the Port of Stockton. It is there where three pieces are welded together to form a continuous piece of a quarter mile long rail. The strategy for this project was to reduce Union Pacific's variability in our network. This reduces our welds from 17 welds to two welds, which is an 88% reduction in our welds. It's a safety improvement. Then flat cars carrying the long rail depart the port of Stockton for locations throughout Union Pacific's 32,000 mile network in 23 states. Today, we're right here by Bowie, Nevada. So we're probably doing about a mile, a mile and a half today, taking out the existing rail and putting new rail in. Then we actually lay the rail in there with a crane, go ahead and uh, weld with the Intract welder. We spike it up and anchor it up behind that. It takes about 15 or so machines to do this process from start to finish. It's absolutely like a synchronized ballet, if you will, of things that need to come together, need to happen, and everybody plays their important role. I've been on this gang here since 2001, and I just love working with people and keeping people safe. The idea of this continuously welded rail from town to town, from state to state, really changes things as far as efficiencies, improvements, and increasing our safety across our network. Union Pacific could have located this project in a few different places, and at the end, they chose the Port of Stockton. The Port of Stockton has helped UP become successful partners in this project. They've had great service in helping us see this dream come to a reality. It takes a journey of 5,300 miles, anchored by the Port of Stockton and enabled by global partners to bring the long rail to its final destination. Helping Union Pacific ensure a high level of safety and efficiency for years to come.